The time is finally here. You are not ready for what's coming. Terra Luna Classic has never been that bullish. Something shocking just happened to Terra Luna Classic, and you're about to blow your mind. The largest crypto exchanges decided to make Terra Luna great again. If you hold Terra Luna tokens, you cannot afford to miss that video. Disclaimer. So, here's the scoop. Binance, which happens to be the biggest crypto exchange globally, recently burned a massive amount of Terra Luna Classic tokens, over 5 billion tokens in what they call the 17th batch of burning. This isn't the first time they've done this. In fact, Binance has burned more than 49 billion Terra Luna tokens in total. That's a whopping 53% of all the tokens ever burned by the Terra Luna Classic community. Now you might wonder, what's this burning all about? Burning tokens means taking them out of circulation permanently. It's like reducing the number of tokens available, which can sometimes make the remaining tokens more valuable. For holders of Terra Luna Classic, this can be pretty significant because it might increase the value of their tokens. What's interesting is that after this latest burn by Binance, the prices of Terra Luna and USTC, tokens in the Terra Classic ecosystem, shot up. This news kicked off the year with a bullish sentiment meaning people felt optimistic about these tokens' future prices. Now here's some juicy gossip. Since Binance is making these big moves by burning tokens, there's chatter in the crypto world that other exchanges like Coinbase might follow suit and start burning tokens too. People are talking about rumors that Coinbase might announce a similar token burn. However, there haven't been any official statements from Coinbase yet. This anticipation has the whole Terra community eagerly awaiting any news or announcements from Coinbase about potential token burning. Let's circle back to the official news from the largest crypto exchange about the token burning. This could help us forecast potential changes in price and, most importantly, potential price increases. So, Binance, a crypto exchange, recently sent a massive amount of Terra Luna Classic tokens, about 5 billion tokens, to what they call the burn address. Now, what's this burning all about? Essentially, when tokens are sent to a burn address, they're taken out of circulation permanently. As mentioned before, this can impact the token's value by reducing the overall supply in the market. What's interesting is that Binance has burned a total of over 49 billion Terra Classic tokens. They've been burning these tokens from trading fees on Terra Luna Spot and margin trading pairs. Now, when we talk about trading fees, Think of it as a small charge you pay when you buy or sell crypto on an exchange. It's like a service fee for using the exchange. Margin trading pairs, on the other hand, involve borrowing funds to amplify your trades. Basically, trading with borrowed money. After Binance's recent burn, the community has collectively burned nearly 92 billion Terra Luna tokens. It's an interesting development that could influence the market for Terra Luna Classic tokens. So, in December, Binance got rid of a substantial amount of Terra Luna Classic tokens, around 4 billion tokens. Furthermore, the trading volume of our beloved cryptocurrencies has spiked recently. Well, it seems like Binance and other crypto exchanges introduced something called a USTC perpetual contract and added new trading pairs involving USTC and Terra Luna. Let's break these down. A perpetual contract is a type of futures contract that doesn't have an expiry date, it's a way to speculate on the price of an asset without actually owning it. It's important because it allows traders to make bets on the future price movements of tokens like Terra Luna Classic without actually buying or selling the tokens themselves. The introduction of new trading pairs involving USTC and Terra Luna is also significant. Trading pairs are essentially the two cryptocurrencies that can be traded against each other. In this case, USTC and Terra Luna were paired for trading. When a new trading pair is introduced, it often boosts trading activity as traders can exchange between these two tokens directly. For Terra Luna Classic, this increased trading activity and the introduction of new trading options are crucial. It boosts visibility and accessibility for the token, potentially attracting more traders and investors. These developments on major exchanges like Binance can have a significant impact on the value and overall market interest in Terra Luna Classic. What are your thoughts on that? Are you bullish on Terra Luna Classic? Leave your opinion in the comments section. Would be curious to know. Unfortunately, not everything is as good as it seems at first glance. Let me tell you what was hidden from you. So, 
There's been a big legal ruling where a U.S. district judge decided that Luna and UST, which are two major assets within the Terra ecosystem, are considered unregistered securities. What does this mean? Let's talk about the difference between securities and crypto. Securities are essentially investment contracts, things like stocks or bonds that represent an ownership interest or a debt owed by an entity. They are regulated by the government to protect investors. Cryptocurrencies, on the other hand, are digital or virtual currencies that use cryptography for security and operate on decentralized networks. Now this legal decision is a significant win for the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission, which is an organization that oversees securities markets and protects investors. This ruling is part of their ongoing legal battle against Terraform Labs and Duquan, who are involved with these assets. This news has caused a stir in the crypto community. Many are worried about what this could mean for the future of digital assets. There are concerns about the Securities and Exchange Commission's growing influence in the crypto industry and how such rulings might impact other cryptocurrencies or blockchain projects. It's definitely a development that's making waves and raising questions about how regulations might shape the crypto landscape moving forward. The SEC, which is a regulatory body in the U.S., has a case against Terraform Labs and its CEO, Du Quan. They're claiming that Terra intentionally deceived investors by marketing tokens like Luna and UST as unregistered securities. Now, what's crucial here is a statement made by Do Quan that the court found weight in. He expressed confidence in Terra's efforts, which the court interpreted as a promise of profit. This statement played a significant role in shaping the court's view that investors in Luna and UST were not just speculating on digital tokens, but were part of a shared enterprise. However, the legal battle is far from over. While the SEC is celebrating this ruling, Judge Rakoff dismissed certain charges related to security-based swaps and fraud, considering them complex and needing further examination. These charges will now go to a jury for decision in an upcoming trial. The remaining charges in this case are adding a level of suspense. If the fraud charges are proven, it could mean serious consequences for Terra, possibly leading to hefty penalties. On the flip side, if the jury rules in Terra's favor on the fraud claims, it could challenge the SEC's argument about these tokens being securities, calling into question the regulatory control they're trying to establish in the crypto space. The only question remaining is, what are your thoughts on that? Is that the end for Terra Luna? What are your predictions on that legal battle? Leave your comment below. And with that, we come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the content and found it valuable, make sure to hit that like button, leave a comment with your thoughts or questions, and most importantly, don't forget to subscribe.